Hello, I'm quickly going to show you how to prepare an image for a template for an intaglio print. Um, it's really important to pre prepare your image so your print can show off your skills um, to the best of your abilities. And if you have a really good quality image to work from, then your print will be much better quality. So I'm using Photopea, um, which is free to use and with just a small amount of time you can make a really big difference to the quality of your overall outcome by putting the time in at the start. So we're going to start by making your image black and white. If you go to image, adjustments and then down to black and white there. Um, this is an image of the Imperial buildings in Rotherham and it's quite um, a detailed image and Intaglio is all about detail so it's really important that you make adjustments um, to the colours when you're making it black and white and you don't just click OK. Because what you can do is, I'm going to choose the red and I'm just going to move it up slightly and it's going to lighten these areas around here and that will really help me when I come to scratch because I'll be able to see more of the details. Um, so if I just have a little fiddle with these, I might move one right down and it might not make any difference. Um, or I can move it back up. But really, what I want to make sure that I've got is plenty of detail here. I just want to see if I can lighten this area here at all, can I? It's not making any difference. I'm going to go with that um, for my print. That looks really, really nice. I've got enough detail on those windows there, and that's what I'm after. So if I click OK, there. Um, the next step that you need to do, which is really, really important, is you need to flip your image because the process of printing in Taglio reverses your image. This is super important if you have text on your image or you are working from something that's instantly recognisable. So if you want your image to look like this when you print it, the image that you work from needs to be flipped. So if you go to image and then go to transform and flip horizontally you can see there it it's flipped it's the opposite way around if you scratch from this on your plate and then when you print it it will print the right way around what you then need to do is send this image to print the right size so the size that you want to do it if I was going to do the, an intaglio with this amount of detail I wouldn't do it any smaller than A4 because I wouldn't be able to capture the amount of detail in the image um, and that's it Good luck.